Hello, welcome back again with another Black Ops 2 gameplay, this time by uh, Guess'em. Woo, you go Guess'em. This is with the M8, the mate. I like calling it the mate. Actually, somebody else called it the mate, and then I caught on to it. It's pretty funny. Hey, mate. I just got everyone's hate from that. But anyways, it's a double nuclear on overflow. I think the second video on the road with this map. This is my favorite map in the game, right here. Went down. He was jacking off in the corner right there, but... Raid is everyone else's favorite map. Most people's. But it's not mine. You know, I hate the middle part. I hate that fucking fountain. Whatever you call that. That's, that's... That's what I have to say about it. This is my favorite map in the game. I think it's best because it has the up-close gunfights, the long-range gunfights, and that bullshit sniper tower that I fucking hate. Nonetheless, I mean, you, you have to think. Just because of a little sniper tower, the map can't be bad. <laughs> I, I was about to go on a little contradiction there and say, This map sucks dick! Get the fuck out of here! But anyway, this the gun, I this is the map I pick whenever I play it. He's not using stock here, if I'm not mistaken. Another gameplay without stock. Yes, with the mate. The mate is a very competitive gun because of its low recoil and its uh, ability to kill really quick. I mean... It's so inconsistent. I mean, I've he I've heard the most popular YouTubers say this thing is the most inconsistent gun ever made. Because it can kill in one burst, up to five bursts. Maybe not five, but definitely four. I've hit marking people three times, so inferring from that, I probably didn't survive that long. So you could guess that it would have killed him in the fourth burst. And it's not even through targets. It's, it's like that. Him firing, so I guess a few bullets, for some reason, come out of your gun at a 30 degree angle. I don't know, with the barrel turns. I like raging a little bit. What not to say about this gameplay is he's using the EMP. I don't even know what not to say it means. I just wanted to add that in. The EMP is the highest lethal you can use. And the only problem I have with it is how you cannot stack them on. You know, like calling one, you have to wait till that one ends. Come on. What the hell is that shit? I mean it's so easy to get it. I think all kill streaks in this game, other than the swarm and the dogs and the low star, are really easy to get, especially while playing hardpoint multi-team. Speaking of this game mode, it seems as if my, most of my clan took that negatively and do not want to play any other game modes but this. Maybe they will once in a while, but expect multi-team hardpoint. It's a good game mode. I don't know why you people can complain. The only reason we did probably they don't play different game modes is because six men trying to get six people kills. Let me reword that. There's just not enough kills to go around. I mean, Ground War has it, but there's so much dashboarding in that. Host dashboarding. That's the problem. I mean, you can, people can dashboard. I hate it. It's stupid. Some people just do it because they're like, fuck this, and don't even play the game. It's, it's not even like they're intending to dashboard. It's just, they're going to dashboard to play another game, you know, like MW3. Which, somebody actually requested that we upload some videos. I mean, I have a, some double Moabs from BK. It's the only person I know. Anybody else who has a double Moab, please tell me. Or even triple. Oh, I don't even think we have any triples. I wish everyone would just go back to that game. Because that game was the best when it comes to gameplays. Because there was no V stat, so it seemed like it was 100% legit. I mean, a lot of it was uh, ballistic vests, which were problems. Ballistic vests were... Uh, I don't like those gameplays. I mean, of course, if you get like a Septa Moab or whatever... Five, six, six. I think six. I think Amp was like a few away from six, which is oh, even using ballistic vests, that's just insane. I mean, how is there enough people in the game for you to get that? What? That's six times three. That's a hundred. No, twenty-five. That's like a hundred fifty kills or something. Non-lethals. Ah, you can't do that in this game, can you? What's the highest non-lethal? I don't know, but it was the end of MW3's life. I've heard MW4 is bringing the new and or Moab back. That'd be great. We'll be the ones bringing you the most Moab gameplay. As long as there's not Ballistic Vest, we'll probably have the highest uh, multi-Moab in a game or whatever. Those bro-abs where you'd have multiple people getting them. In this game, it's like you could have so many nuclears in one game. It's just unbelievable. What I want to talk about is actually the uh, the Hobbit. That came out in uh, Murica this Tuesday. This tu yesterday, as this video goes up. It should go up uh, Wednesday uh, the 20th? I think it's the 20th, yeah. I like that mo movie. Okay, that's all I have to say. No, I'm kidding. That the critics, like I saw, it, I go on Fandango, <laughs> like a faggot website, but it uh, shows you all the movies, the showtimes, the critics reviews and shit. I hate critics. They wrote it, rated it as so-so movie, which is uh, they have like a scoring system. One out of a hundred, one to twenty is uh, like oh no, like oh hell no, don't watch this movie. Third, twenty-one to forty, I think is no. 
41 to 60 is so-so. That's what they rated The Hobbit. Are you kidding me? I watched that movie. I left that thing with a full-blown erection. I mean, it was like I fell asleep and had a wood. It was amazing. How do the critics hate that? I mean, some people have said, <coughs> Rebel, that it's better than Lord of the Rings. It's not. I mean, Lord of the Rings are the trilogy. They are the movies. I mean, there is no trilogy better than that. I mean, The Dark Knight, uh, the Batman series, that comes close. But the Lord of the Rings, the, the first one, one does not simply. The best memes come from that. It's just the best three films ever. But The Hobbit, it can live up to it. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Peter Jackson, great director. It's not American, which is sad. But he's still great. He's doing two more. One's coming out this December and then next December. I guess next December or November. He ju he's doing the same thing he did with Lord of the Rings, which is, well, he made all three of them at, at the same time, if I'm not mistaken, and then released them year after year after year. So they wouldn't lose their taste. Oh, man. I don't even remember watching the third Lord of the Rings, my favorite one. I think it's the best one in the theaters, but... Supposedly, it was four hours and 15 minutes. What? Are you crazy? Who the hell has time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers watching that in the movies. Was it actually four hours and 15 minutes? That's what they say on the website, but I don't think so. I On DVD, it's like three hours, 30 minutes. Some long-ass thing. It's like, whoa. I love long movies. It seems like Lord of the Rings, too. It seems like it's spanned over such a long term. The only problem I have with The Hobbit is if you have seen it, the, the scene with Gollum and uh, Mr. Bobo. Wait, is that name is Bilbo? <laughs> Bilbo. When they just like are playing a game, I think that just dragged on for a little bit too long and was ne unnecessary. You know, I'm I'm horrible when it comes to movies. If it's got shit blowing up and cool special effects, I think it's a great movie. You know, I thought Clash of the Titans was a great movie. I mean, it could be, but the critics are like, oh hell no. But I thought it was a great movie. Come at me, bro. The so Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I think that was the most perfect movie of all time. Made a billion dollars. Had so many uh, Oscars or Grammys. I don't know which ones they are. Got the highest rating. The Godfather is the highest rated movie that I've seen. It uh, got a hundred out of a hundred. Only movie I've ever seen to do that. Second to that would be Lord of the Rings, if I'm not mistaken, which got 94 out of a hundred. I swear there was one. Hey, <laughs> get them wants you to join a party. That got a 96 out of a hundred. But if I'm I'm not mistaken. You people could search that. I like looking at those ratings. It definitely deserved it. Oh, the final battle was like, how do you do that? Wasn't there a million people or something? How would you do that? How do you even find enough room to fit those people? Where are they all going to sleep? Are they all going to be homeless or something? Uh-uh-uh. It was just a huge fight scene. I wish those those ghosts were such a cheat code. There's always been one problem with those movies. I have to say quick. The eagles, I mean, really, at the end, they pick them up. You could have just brought them there. What's wrong with that? Come on. Okay, well, man, this gameplay on a short notice. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and uh, subscribe.